Best day of my life. Genuinely the best day of my life. Awesome. So awesome. I was so excited. It was really good. The real Sean Dyke. <laughs> Sensational, wasn't it? Absolutely sensational. It's been a while since we've, we've had that kind of energy in the room, I guess, you know. We like to think we talk pretty positively at the club and have some fun meetings, but uh, I think that one topped it all. They did warn me, by the way, that was kind of set up, just in case anyone's thinking that I've been duped or anything. They did tell me that they had my doppelganger, so to speak, and he would ask me a few questions, but no, look, I like a bit of fun with our group. You know, I think, I think it's all work and no play makes Jack and old boys, so I think we keep our group on their toes, so I'm quite happy to join in for a bit of fun with the lads. Every November, when, it, when Movember comes around, I always buy into it quite hard, give myself a goatee. Um, a couple of years ago, somebody sent me a picture and was like, you look like this football manager. And ever since then, I bought into it. And last year, obviously shaved my head, bought myself a tie, bought myself like a training kit, um, and dressed up like him for a few weeks, which was good fun. Uh, Sean, thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> you don't sound like Simon. <laughs> A bit of serious chat with the staff, um, you know, behind the scenes and chatting mainly through cultures, environments, working with players and all the challenges that come within that. Not so much about the game, I, rugby knowledge is limited to say the least, uh, but more about the culture and the environment, what they work in and what they're trying to look to get out the players and, and some of the key core values and what they're looking for and what they do and what the team does. So stuff that we share in, in football and then a Q&A, a bit of fun uh, with my lucky likey. So uh, the lads enjoyed that. And are the players responsible for um, deciding what their passwords are, what their values are, is that more you Some like your own group, you take ownership, you know, some, some we, we start maybe the process and then they come up with their own situations, own key things. It was all about sharing really, sharing information, sharing ideas, uh, coaching strategies, uh, how you deal with selection, non-selection, culture building. Um, he's obviously a very successful manager, you know, keeping Burnley up in the Premiership six out of seven years. Uh, so there's lots for me as a, as a young head coach to learn from as well. Coaching management, whichever one you're in, I think you're always looking for what, what can you add into your toolkit, you know, and I think these ideas here are more sharing thoughts, you know, you might only nick two or three things, but they're just things that might, you know, resonate with you, you think, well, actually, that would cross over. So I think, I think it's a, a mixture and, uh, you know, just finding, finding the right balance for your own workplace by, by looking at others and, and learning some things from what they do. It's just trying to keep the players feeling really privileged and proud to be part of the rugby environment and, and really privileged to be Harlequin. Um, so maybe there's two or three things that they might pick up, uh, particularly the coaches, you know, and certainly there's two or three things that I've picked up that I'll keep to myself so that I can use them wisely. Uh, I love Burnley. I think I'm, when I retire, I'm moving up there. <laughs> <laughs>